that I'd run into, uh, Alan and Jack, uh, was in the early 1940s, about, yeah, just before the war ended in 1943, 1944. Well, none of us were writers at that time. Jack was the most um, devoted writer. He'd written a great deal, and he kept telling me that I was going to write a book, and the book was going to be called Naked Lunch. It was his title. And I said, oh, well, you know, I don't want to do it. You know, I'm not a writer. And, uh, so I wasn't, um, I wasn't at all interested in writing at this time. What moved you that way? You say there's no sense of continuity. There must, but there must have been a change. Uh, well, after, um, I guess it was in 1950, and I'd had these experiences as an addict. I was living in Mexico City, and someone suggested to me that I simply write up <clears throat> my experiences uh, with heroin addiction, uh, which I did. And that was the book, the first book, Junkie. And then when that was published, that I was encouraged to, uh, to go on with writing. So I was 35 at the time. Even though you say in the book, or you say quite clearly that it's, it's, it's not a useful question, I want to ask yes. it, what, what led you to junk? What? Uh, you say well, I was, around, I was around people that were using it. Uh, then I started to, you know, taking an occasional shot. And it is, for most people, I think, a, a very uh, pleasurable sensation. It's like what leads people to alcohol or any other drug. They take it, and they like it, and they take some more.